Hey guys, and welcome to another Daily Tip episode here. It is February 10th, 2009, and as you can see, um, we're back inside of Reaper again. And I've got some more uh, little tips um, to show you to organize things and really make it feel um, like your own uh, software rather than you know something that was set up for you. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to folder tracks and organize things. Um, that way you don't have a list of massive list list of tracks that you don't want to see all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a few tracks here. I'll insert uh, five tracks. Uh, now that we have five tracks here, in order to make a track into a folder, all you do is come up here and you click on this little folder icon that you can see that's has a white outline around it and you click on that and as you can see these four tracks under it uh, shifted over and you get these three little blocks here and that's actually your expanded view if you click that again again it'll become half as expanded as it was and you click it once more and it'll completely collapse and now you have um, those tracks all folded inside of that one track and this up here would be your master volume for all those tracks um, and if you want to you can double click in the gray area here and actually name this so I'll name this guitars and now that you have that this will adjust your volume for all your guitars that are say in these four tracks um, now another little thing that I can show you is since that you have all the, these tracks up here um, and you can adjust the volume separately you don't necessarily need them down in the mixer you have your master so I, what I like to do is just keep the master volumes for my tracks down here and you can see the two three four and five are actually supposed to be in the guitars folder so if you come over here and click in a blank spot in your mixer down here and you can go to um, up here that sh says uh, show tracks that are in folders if you unclick that um, as you can see all the tracks that are inside that guitars track go away so it cleans up your mixer down here and if you need to get to the actual volumes of those tracks you can expand this and get to your volumes that way that way it cleans everything up um, rather than uh, you having two different volume sets for all your tracks um, another thing I like to do is instead of having, having the mixer down here at the bottom I like to undock that and actually not have that showing so if you want to do that you can right click and you can see the check mark on dock mixer to docker if you unclick that uh, or uncheck that you can see that your entire mixer has now been um, undocked from the bottom of your screen and this way you can actually close this and now you just have your track view um, you don't have any annoying mixer down here that you don't need all the time and if you want to get that back you can sim simply um, click control M and that'll bring back your mixer up um, at whatever size you actually resize it at so you can actually resize this um, for your project um, so you have a lot of effects or something like that and you can actually uh, uh, have that save and so if you close this out again and hit control M it'll actually come back up at the same size as you had it beforehand um, so those are just a couple little uh, interface tips that uh, I think you all will uh, enjoy um, if you want to actually get the uh, the dock back docked on the bottom um, you can hit control M to bring the mixer back up right click in a blank area and go to dock mixer to docker again and it'll put it back at the bottom um, like the default is and the same thing goes for if you want those tracks back that are in that guitars folder that we created you can right click and go up here and go to show tracks that are in folders and those will um, will uh, expand outward to the right of your folder track so those are this just little uh, little inter or, uh, yeah, interface tips for Reaper that really allow you to uh, uh, make the software your own and really um, a lot of other um, software like uh, Logic and things that allow you to undock or not even have the docked mixer and th that's kind of uh, what uh, I just showed you there. So uh, next time I'll show you uh, a little bit about sins and returns and effects and things like that that you can do in Reaper. So uh, we'll see you next time.